we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father of blessings, Father of forgiveness, Father who brings about miracles, Father who gives us peace. At this dawn, help us to receive help, help us to have a new start. Help us not to live by being tied up to our yesterday, the disasters, but to have freedom in a new start. May we have a new start, our children, our country. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's say together, sheep. Yesterday sheep, today sheep. This time, this today, it will never come again. Who gives us this? God. Who makes us alive or dead? 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 6, God. So in front of Almighty God, as you're sitting here, you if you believe you'll do well but you don't believe that's the problem because you're deceived by your demons your ancestors demons you you think that you believe but you don't this is where the problem is do you believe that you will be helped this dawn Psalms chapter 46 verse 5 so what is God helping you is it just to help you wash no it's to become a new person Let's find 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. You think you know this, but you don't. A new person inside of Christ. What is Christ? The mystery of God. This mystery of God is Christ to come inside of you. When we obey this mystery of Christ, then we become a new person. So you're not that prostitute of yesterday. Rahab the prostitute. You're not that person who has no blessings you're not that person who doesn't have faith of yesterday today you've come to receive blessings to do well but who is it that ruins Korea it's when I can't be like this that's when I ruin my country who is it that ruins the, your family your parents when I'm when I'm corrupt when I squander that's when I ruin myself my life you reap what you sow Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 God is just what you've done what your ancestors done he returns exactly back to you where is that 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 is it 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 3 verse 5 let's find it ok let's first read this before we go there so because you don't know God's justice whether you're a pastor you know you may say oh what do ancestors sins have to do with me you know if you are a bad tree then you will only have bad fruit if you do not acknowledge God's word if you deny God's word your name will be taken out of the book of life you will go to hell So you can only become a new person inside of Christ. Let's read this. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things are passed away. Behold, new things have come. Amen. Isn't this Amen? So the old things have passed away. So, and instead you've become new. If something's become new, You know, if a bad tree has become a new tree, then it doesn't say I'm a bad tree because it's now got good fruit. So we say that we believe, but we keep going back to our past, our actions, our, our speech. Uh, we keep holding on to our disease and saying we're sick. So who is it that's made it not work out? Me, I'm the prodigal son. I keep leaving. I havenven't changed my thoughts. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 if you change your heart everything will change but 
this God who is justice, Him coming to my heart, that is faith. So if you want faith, you need to have that same justice. What does God require? That justice. But instead, you have this human affection where you just let people go. So that, that human affection is lusts. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 25. That person kills themselves. That person, the person of lusts is someone who kills themselves. Other people may think that you have a lot of love, but that's evil. God's love is justice, which is to say you will die or you will live. But evil people, they only seek their popularity. And so they only say sermons that are pleasing to the ears. That is the heretic's sermon. Isn't this our men? So you only say pleasing words because you only want popularity. If that's what Jesus did, he wouldn't have died. But it's when you say correcting words. Those words are words of life. That's love. The 66 books of the Bible are love. But if, because you can't make that yours, that's why you can't say love. If you memorize this Bible, then you are killing yourself. That's an evil person. That's someone who has lusts. So outside of Christ, you, you can't make this yours. And yet, they call themselves pastors or, or theologians and that's why they have these denominations and they drag people to hell. Inside of Christ is the only way you can become new but they don't have that. Let's read this again. Therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold new things have come. Amen. So even a bad tree if it's been grafted then it will have good fruit. What are you? You say you believe, but you still have your past bad habits. You still have your past where you're not doing well, where you're doing filthy things. Your thoughts, your speech, your actions, they're still of the past. Oh, I'm, I still have disease. You're evil. Because you haven't, you're not inside of Christ, because you don't have God's word, you say, I'm sick. You're not a new person. This is why you don't do well. If you're inside of Christ, God says you are a new person. But you think you're stronger than God and you say, no, I'm not. So you're not inside of Christ. Because you're not inside of Christ, you haven't been forgiven of your sins. Because you're not forgiven of your sins, you're not a new person. And that's why you're in poverty. That's why you're in ruin. Some fakes say, God's word is today's or, or yesterday's or no it's all it's the past the present and the future but God tells us to remember things some things of the past and some things he tells us not to so what is it that he tells us to remember of the past Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 15 he doesn't want us to remember the exodus because of the hardship but to remember that in whatever circumstance God is with us so we have to know that in whatever circumstance we're grafted, that's what, other than that, don't remember. Only remember the grafting. No matter what bad tree you are, no matter what your life is, no matter who you are, inside of Christ you're new. So if you're grafted in, you will have good fruits. So whatever your past, it doesn't matter. All you have to remember is that I too can do well. So that exodus is to remember that I too can do well. But fakes, they say, you can't do well because of this or you can't do well because of that. That's a fake. And that's why Jesus, when he chose his disciples, he didn't choose according to worldly standards of, of education. But he chose the uneducated, the 12 disciples. Even now, we say, those people, they can't do well. Oh, you haven't graduated from elementary school, Peter. You know, but that's who the Lord chose. So how fakely are we living? How, how fake are the standards that we live by? So God says, anyone can do well. If you go inside of Christ, you will become new. So what is it that we need to do? Nothing except go inside of Christ. There's nothing we need to do. All we have to do is the mystery of Christ. 
but because we don't do this mystery of Christ. So you hear about the mystery of Christ, but you don't change it to actions. Let's find Romans chapter 2 verse 6. Because you hear, but you don't change it to actions, that's why you become fake. That's why you can't become new. Everything you do doesn't become new. As you live, you'll see that people change. Oh, when they were young, in their photos they look like this, but as they get older they keep changing. So you're born according to your ancestors' sins, and as you grow, you keep changing. So after 10, 20 years, if you meet someone, you can't recognize them. Oh, is that what you've become? You know, the family who sees you all the time, they know you, but other people don't. How do you change? Well, this is, you know, according to the world, there's like face reading, palm reading. This is all philosophy. This is all kind of surveys. So what's this saying? If your face looks like this, this is how filthily you've lived. If you keep using your right arm, it grows longer. Oh, because they've lived like this, this is why their face looks like that. So what is in your heart comes out in your face. Matthew chapter 12 verse 34. So if you change inside of Christ, then your face changes. So what is faith? Faith is all joy. So if you're smiling, if that joy comes out in your face, all peace comes out in your face. So according to how much your face changes, you can see if that person has faith or not. But if you come to Pusan First Church where you have the promise that anyone can do well, anyone, at dawn you can receive help, inside of Christ you can become new. That is what believing Jesus is. But you never smile. So how can you do well? It happens according to your faith. Matthew chapter 8 verse 13. It's according to how much you smile. It's according to how much peace you have in your heart. So at dawn, he helps us. Anyone. And that's why Jesus, he, he even made those 12 disciples who were useless to do well. And also, Apostle Paul, even though he didn't meet Jesus, he too did well. In other words, any all can do well. You can't do well if you don't go inside of Christ. Isn't this our men? So it's inside of Christ, not Jesus. If you go inside of Christ, that's four-step repentance, the mystery. So when we say the Apostles' Creed, who do we say that we believe? we say we believe in God and God the Father Almighty and His Son Christ but if you omit Christ then you become fake we have to go inside of Christ anyone inside of Christ can become a new person so if you have a new person then your disease is gone if you were poor, you become rich. Someone who didn't do well, does well. But what about you? You're not inside of Christ. So you're outside of Christ and you keep saying, I'm not doing well. Of course, you have to go inside. And that is the mystery, which is forced at repentance. Even though I tell you this, those who are to be ruined, evil people, those with demons, all they do is hinder. Isaiah chapter 43. Let's find. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18. The person next to you. You look at the way that they um, 
find the Bible. This is what they're doing to God. They're bringing curses upon themselves. They're treating God like that. So your actions already are cursed. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 11. And yet they say they're inside of Christ. When I look, you know, you can barely receive help at dawn. If the president of a company calls you and you say, what, you called me? They'll tell you to go home. That's what you're doing. That's your actions. You know, when you come to dawn, you treat God like he's not even worth a gold ring. Romans chapter 2 verse 6, he repays you according to your actions. So it's not those who hear that are righteous. It's those who act. So Romans chapter 2 verse 13 we looked that up but we didn't read it that's something you know when I tell you to find the Bible verse you're so proud if I was God I would kill you on the spot but they're the actions that you do so when I tell you to look at the person next to you that's you that's why you have to repent when you call your child if they look at you like this and then say did you call? How would you feel? Would you say, oh, you're such a good child? You would think, what? whose child is that? What's? I hope he doesn't do that in front of others. You would feel really sad and you would, you would feel angry. But what are we in front of God? He knows our every thought, our action Psalms 139 so a sermon without Christ is fake, Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 what does this mean? it means you're not inside of Christ the Bible outside of Christ has nothing to do with you, this word is God he has nothing to do with you so even now the word is working but none of your actions change. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. Someone who doesn't smile, you see if their job does well, if their business does well. Someone who doesn't smile, you see if they can even feed themselves. There are people here who don't smile. If you haven't smiled your whole life, you can't. You're so filled with evil. If you wear clothes for a long time, because of the dirt and the sweat, it becomes stiff and it becomes sticky. You know, if there's only a little bit of dirt and you wash it, it will wash out well. But if it's if you if that stain has been washed for a long time, the color of the clothes actually change. No matter how much you wash, it won't it won't change so we're like that but the blood of Christ even what's rotten or stained he can make new so today this dawn a new start God's help a new start where our heart our actions are completely new but you look at people who don't do well they're still holding on to their past they're still tied up to their thoughts Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 Let's read it. Do not call to mind the former things or ponder things of the past. Amen. Let's read it again. Do not call to mind the former things or ponder things of the past. Amen. Isn't this amen? So you need to get rid of it. You want to, but can you? The way to get rid of it is by four-step repentance. So God, he makes you forget the things that you don't need to remember. If you do four-step repentance properly, you will experience this, whether it be your past disease or, or whatever. He will only make you remember the good things. So that's joy. Inside of Christ, this is what happens. It's not me that can do it. God does it. So what thoughts are you tied up to? Is it your disease? sorry do you think you're inside of Christ no if you're tied up to your disease then you're not inside of Christ you're still tied up to your thoughts of I can't do well you need to get rid of it but I can't forget only by the mystery of Christ can this happen if you're inside of Christ then you become a new person at this dawn let's have a new start a new start 
may this come upon you so in order to have a new start let's go inside of Christ you can keep your eyes open or you can close your eyes someone with disease listen carefully please God is just we haven't found that let's find 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 God is a God of justice um, we talked about two verses so which one is it 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 5 is talking about the God of patience and and love Christ is patience so we do need to know this but 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 talks about the God of justice and 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 says that we shouldn't speak of the gospel with words but with the Holy Spirit Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 before the Holy Spirit he gives us power so without power you cannot receive the Holy Spirit you cannot what a lie you cannot build the second floor without the first floor but that's what fakes say in order to speak of the gospel we do not do it with words but with firstly with power and then with the Holy Spirit and the third with assurance no matter what anyone says to have that confidence and so you say you're doing three four theology and they say pastor Park says you're a demon you're a fake you don't have assurance you don't have the worthiness to speak of the gospel so this is these three gospel these th three Bible verses are important 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 don't be fake and and speak of the gospel with words and Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 you have to receive power and you also have to re receive the Holy Spirit and you also have to have assurance Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35 that's when you become bold because you've experienced it you received everything so if you have power you can cast out other people's demons so it starts from there and then you receive the Holy Spirit after you receive the Holy Spirit you need to have the assurance so then you can confidently spread the gospel that is the the worker of of the gospel so that is the basics 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 that's the basics of spreading the gospel so without power can you spread the gospel Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 after receiving power that's when they can go out and spread the gospel so after you receive power why because those with demons they have to see the power to believe that's John chapter 20 verse 30 so if you go and go and evangelize without this then you're a fake so anyone can do well if you're inside of Christ at this dawn God helps us if we're inside of Christ today he will give us help of a new start there is no past it's a new start a new start so where do we have a new start inside of Christ today when we wash we need to have a new start that's of our flesh but inside of Christ no one can see no one can no one knows but the sins and the demons that have stuck they will all depart that's a new start the devil demons are curses but inside of Christ is a new start so every time you have a problem we have to cry out to God in other words we have to go inside of Christ if you have a problem you have to do four step repentance then you'll become a new man and you'll rule over it isn't this amen may we be victorious then our country can be victorious when I'm victorious my family's victorious when my family's victorious my children are victorious and that's when our country is victorious may we all receive this this dawn may you receive the blessings where the doors of heaven are opened it's a new start let's say to the person next to us I'm a new man so, and then you say oh my lower body's hurting no it's a new start why go outside of Christ now I see you smiling you know if you f try to force yourself to smile you know I should take a photo of that and you should hang that up 
you know the word is good and God gives us joy and you know a smile starts to come out but you know the the top half is is not smiling the bottom is smiling so it's like the 38th parallel but we will do well we're not beasts we're men we're men of honor let's have a new start let's say to the person next to us it's a new start it's a new start it's a new start turn around and say it it's a new start it's a new start this way or that way it's a new start we'll all do well by a new start we will all do well let's all pray Father we have lived so wrongly you have told us to forget the past you have told us to forget the past but we're so tied up to our past thoughts from today I'm a new man inside of Christ I'm a blessed man I'm a healthy man today I will do more well my children will do more well our country will be will do more well may we all be victorious with this heart in Jesus name we thank you and bless Amen